I'm Josh Tickell. And I'm Rebecca Tickell. And we wanted to take a moment to tell you how you can get your car off of oil. Now the best way that you can get off of oil is to, to stop, stop using, using it. it. So how do you do that? Well, we've taken about a year and a half to study the issue, and we found exactly one way that you can take the car that you're driving today without a significant expense, run it on a completely alternative fuel that's cheaper and it's found at 3,000 gas stations across America. It's by using alcohol fuel, otherwise known as ethanol. Now, ethanol has gotten a pretty bad rap. In fact, we've been made to think that biofuels, especially ethanol, is really bad for the environment. But in fact, compared to oil, well, there is no comparison. We made a whole other movie about just that, how to get off of fossil fuels, called Freedom 2.0. But for now, we're just going to show you how to install a Freedom kit in your regular car so you can use something other than gasoline in it. We've got a regular 2008 Prius, and we're going to show you how to install the Freedom kit in your vehicle. Now, before you install a Freedom kit, make sure your vehicle is in good operating order. You're going to need a few tools. You should have a screwdriver, wrenches and sockets, and some zip ties, and for cleanliness, it's good to have paper towels and something to clean with. You can install a Freedom Kit in any vehicle with a fuel-injected engine. So what is a Freedom Kit? Well, a Freedom Kit's a small computer with a wiring harness. The wires go to each injector of your car, and the computer helps regulate the amount of fuel that goes to those injectors. So let's take a look at how to install that. Now, to get to the injectors in this particular car, I've got to remove the air cleaner. It's a pretty straightforward process, two bolts and a screw. So I remove the hose that holds the air cleaner in place. I happen to know this is a 10 millimeter because I looked at it before we started filming. So I'm just going to remove these two bolts and once these are off, we can take our air cleaner box off. Okay, so that's our air cleaner box. That should just come right off. There we go. So now that the air cleaner box is out of the way, you can see the four injectors in the Prius right here. One, two, three, four. It's a four cylinder engine, so that makes sense. The Freedom Kit is going to install directly between this wire and the injector. Between this wire and the injector, between this wire and the injector, and between this wire and the injector. Well, let's do that now. It actually doesn't matter which order the wires go in. Each of these small connectors has to be taken off. You do that by pushing in the top of the connector and pulling. You don't want to use a screwdriver. You don't want to pry these off. You don't want to do anything drastic. Next step is you put your wiring harness here on the connector, here. That's that piece of the wiring harness. The other piece of the wiring harness goes to the connector you just pulled off. So this is what it looks like when the injectors are all done and each wire is attached to an injector. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put the air filter back on. Now you have your Freedom Kit installed. It's under the air cleaner box. That's where we've got all of our wires connected. You can see we just have this one main wire coming out of the wiring harness and the actual computer. So there's one more step before we secure the computer to the box of the car, and that is simply to attach a ground wire. The ground wire has to be attached to a bolt that's attached to the body of the car. And basically I'm gonna put the Freedom Kit up here. Okay, so now you see the grounding wire. I'm just gonna take that bolt, insert it through the wire, and the kit itself will be grounded to the car. You're almost home free. We're ready for the final step. 
which is attaching your Freedom Kit to the vehicle. We're going to use some high-tech materials, namely zip ties, to attach the little computer to your car. I'm going to put mine here, it's out of the way, and it's still visible so I can show my friends. Just put one zip tie around one side of the Freedom Kit. You want to make sure that your kit is far away from any heat sources. You don't want to attach it to the exhaust manifold or some hot location in your car where it's going to melt. So up here is perfect for this car, far away from all the moving parts. And there it is, Freedom Kit. Now that I have my Freedom Kit installed, I can run this vehicle on any combination of gasoline or E85 alcohol. For instance, let's say I have half a tank of gasoline and I want to fill up on the other half with E85. No problem. You just splash it right in there. The Freedom Kit takes care of any necessary calculation. There are 3,000 E85 alcohol fuel stations in America. You can look up online E85 gas station or you can look for the E85 symbol at a gas station. Your vehicle will function as normal. You'll notice no difference whatsoever. And once again, if you want to use the car in 100% gasoline, it's not a problem. The car will function just as it did before. The entire installation process takes about an hour. And when you're done, you're ready to roll. That's it. Freedom Kit installation done. So here's what you get with your Freedom Kit. When it comes to the mail, you get instructions, helpful, a chrome plate for your car that shows that you're using something other than fossil fuels, and a Freedom Kit. Each kit is especially made for your car. If you have a four-cylinder car, then the kit is 369. If your car has six cylinders, then the kit is 424, and if your car has eight cylinders, the kit's 499. All of our kits are made in the USA, and if you have any questions or need technical support, the kit comes with customer service, also based in the USA. You can also order a Freedom Kit online at www.thefreedomfilm.com, or you can call 310-943-2094. When ordering, please have the year, make, and model ready. Thank you for watching our movie and for watching this video. Together, we can get off of oil.